allow us to, to use their facility. And, uh, you know, for all the fans that showed up, it was really awesome to see them. Uh, you know, I think it was good to get in front of the crowd. It was good for everybody, uh, coaches and players, just to get a taste of it. Because it, it is different when you got a crowd out there. And uh, so, you know, everything went well on the injury front, obviously, other than... Push your hand down, hand down. And it uh, looked like he tweaked his hamstring right there. I don't know how severe, I don't think it's too severe, it's good. And I don't think we had anything else that had been an issue uh, as far as injuries are concerned, which is nice. Uh, a lot of nice plays, you know, both sides of the ball. Uh, got a few cheers for the offense, got a few cheers for the defense. So, you know, that was a good day. Uh, a lot of film to review and make decisions uh, as far as how much progress guys are making. You know how much progress we're making as a staff as well. So uh, a lot of things to uh, evaluate. Looked like you had a lot of diversity at this point. This point. Yeah, we did. We did. I mean, we're we'll spread. We'll be in the eye. We'll we we'll two tights. We we'll, we'll do a lot of everything. I do like the two bag run game. Um, well, I, I think that we'll get better at that as we go. It, it takes a little getting used to um, from a physical standpoint, but I think we need that. We need that as a team. Well, we ran the ball decent from the spread as well, or at least three, three wide receiver sets. Had a couple of full receiver sets. Um, you know, through some screens, play action passes. Didn't run a bootleg or a naked. I forgot to do that. <laughs> Disappointed in myself on that one. Uh, but other than that, we called just about everything. And we've got the only thing we really didn't work on, which is pretty obvious, is our, uh, we worked our red zone Office, but really, I put in our goal line defense, I mean, goal line offense, and uh, we just got so many shots down there. I was kind of liking it better, like back behind the ten, behind the five. But we started getting first and goal inside the five, and really wasn't prepared for that uh, with the goal line offense installation. So uh, we're, we're going to install that this week. We just hadn't got to it yet. Mark, no Coley in the second half, but do you like how the defense responded after giving up those touchdowns early? Yeah, I think so. You know, got some good fourth down stops. Got what, pick, at least one pick six. Maybe. Yeah. Was it two or one? One. One Probably pick no, six. One in the end zone, too. Uh, yeah, and got them. Had another chance to, the uh, offense had another chance to score. They, they stopped the touchdown right there in the red area. Uh, you know, what, what, what we tell all the guys with this offensive defense is you got to play the next play, whether it's good or bad. Play the next play. You got to focus in it. There's only one thing you should be focusing on, and that's your job and your next assignment. And it, but it's hard. We're all human, you know. Things go good, we feel maybe too good. Things go bad, we, we tend to want to go in the tank a little bit. But uh, we got to learn to play every down like it's the most important down that, that there is. And we're, we're learning that. We're learning that. Yeah, there were a lot of sacks today for Ohio. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was a few. Um, a lot of times the pocket was real pretty and sometimes it wasn't so nice. Uh, part of that is Brad's got to get rid of the ball. And then some of that is just, um, you know, that pocket squeezing on him and him not wanting to throw the ball up for grabs. I mean, the good thing was I don't think he threw any balls that should have got picked. He might have got, he might have tried to squeeze one in there. That was a little dangerous. But Brad's pretty good about not putting the ball in harm's way. Um, so, you know, and, and the other quarterbacks from time to time, they, you know, throwing it up for grabs and things of that nature. And, you know, Brad's had a couple of images like that too, but there's been very few. So, you know, that position, some of it is just, I mean, I tell you guys, you know, more games are lost than won. Uh, and so you gotta, you gotta protect the ball. You gotta be respectful of the ball. Right, what you think about it? What did you see? Wow, so there's so many, we, we're rolling them. You know, there's four other guys we roll. Um, I, I think each guy had some bright moments. Um, it probably had some things he'd like to have back, but it's too hard for me to say. Mark, what did you think about Mark Walton? It seemed like he was running with the ones all yeah, day. Yeah, he did a nice job. Mark has really proved that he can make something out of nothing. He's got good hands out of the backfield. Uh, he's got a toughness about it. I think he likes uh, big moments. I mean, not that this was a huge moment, but it was the biggest moment of the spring in regards to our practices and being in front of the crowd. I like the way he responded. Is he too early to say that he light. separated himself or no? Uh, it's too early. Okay. Touch on a little bit. Just what, what does being in front of a, a fairly nice crowd like this uh, do for the players, even though it's only spring practice? Uh, I, I think it means something to them. It really does. If you just have your normal practice and it, it just seems uh, very routine, 
and all of a sudden you get in the bus and you travel and you, you get into a, a stadium with some stand with stands and fans and and everybody's watching you know and we also know that you know that everybody's got their cameras out and who knows what's videoed and all that kind of thing that'll be all over the internet right now so they know it's very very public it used to be just whoever showed up now it's really everybody in the world who wants to look at the what's going to be shot out on the internet so you know it's, it's different but that's you still got to learn to focus regardless of the circumstance so i, I think it was healthy for us to do this and uh of course next week uh, with the spring game it'll be a little bit more like that how do you think stacy looked for the injury uh you know about? stacy's had a great spring so far I agree. Uh, you know i'm sad that he that happened to him because he's really played well he's a guy that uh, He's been a playmaker you know, for this team for a while, not just since I've been here. You know, he's he's a very good football player. He's been very coachable and teachable, and I'm just I'm sorry that that happened to him. Mark, with two practices left on the second Saturday, is there anything specific you want to make sure these guys get down? Anything that's going to be focused? Well, well, offensively, we'll probably put one minute offense in, which we have not done. We've not put we've not put a goal line offense in, which. We may or may not do that. We probably will. Um, as far as anything we might install, that's the last thing there. And then the rest is just you know, keep learning, keep keep taking care of business at school. You know, as soon as the spring game's over, they got one more week of school and then exams. And so there's a lot on their plate right now. I, I appreciate their effort. What do you like the most about where Brad is at right now? I know you probably talk about it a lot with the uh, Brad is just, um, he's very coachable, teachable. Uh, he's a pretty unflappable guy. He, he doesn't seem to, the pressure doesn't seem to bother him when I'm talking about just you know whether it's in the pocket or whether it's just the pressure of his job and his role on this team. Uh, you know, very accurate passer. Uh, if we if we protect him, um, you know he, he's going to hit his target. I'm, I'm really impressed with that. Coach on the yeah, he works. He works so hard. He plays so hard. I, I just appreciate his effort, and I, and I think becoming contagious. We had some phenomenal plays on defense. Uh, I showed the last team meeting three just tremendous hustle plays by guys. One was a screen that was about to be a first down in a third and eight period, and the, the thing might have scored a touchdown. The guy turned us pink. He he blitzed, and then he turned around and he he clipped the heels of the back before he. Made the first down, which might have made the difference between winning and losing. Then we threw another screen in another play, like uh, a couple days later. And uh, gosh, I think it was Trent Harris. He was rushing the passer. He was on the blitz. He was probably 11 yards behind the line of scrimmage, and the screen broke out. And about 50 yards down the field, he made the tackle because he turned and he just started running. And when he started running, he's probably 15 yards behind him, where it's like there's no chance. But because his teammates cut him off and made him made him cut back. When he cut back, there he was. But if, if he wasn't there, he was, was going to the house, you know. And, uh, and then another time, there was a, a rush. I think it was Gerald, his big G, uh, Willis, and he, um, he's rushing the passer and not getting much success going one way. Instead of kind of stopping, he decided to spin back inside and bat him down a ball that would have been an easy little pass to the back and probably about 15 yards, you know. So just, just keep playing hard. Just keep playing hard. And Quan has been doing that from the beginning. I know you guys are catching up. Mark, what's All right, your last question, what's guys. Your assessment?